Hmm. I've just realized that my scooter battery charger, while very much improved, has a built-in fan. And that fan makes noise. I'll be back in a second. Play the intro! Good evening from Korea. Good evening. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but, yeah, from me, good evening. Uh, I was going to put this off until I watched the entirety of a YouTube video, but luckily 15 minutes in, I clicked on how long the video was, and it's an hour and 33 minutes long, which is too long. So, that was so close. All right, room tour. Don't look at my messy bed, but look at my messy bed. That's where my phone landed. <laughs> I, I have a little foam thing. F-O-A-M, not P-H-O-N-E. I have a foam thing that's sticking out from my bed by about an inch, and it just saved my phone's life. Oh no, my dum-dums. Today was actually different when I woke up for once, because I woke up at 6.45 on the dot. You ask how I might know? It's because I woke up to my alarm clock for the first time in weeks, because I stayed up late again. And uh, after waking up at 6.45, and clicking that button, I was like, wow, I'm really tired. Or at least that's what I would have thought if I didn't fall asleep at the R in tired. So I got a knock on my door at about 7.20ish. And it was one of my coworkers. I was the specialist who's technically in charge of me. Uh, <laughs> like, hey, you got to send a message by 7.30 to show that you're awake. And I was like, oh, sorry, I slept in. That's like the first time that I've done that, so he was forgiving. Anyway, after doing that, started getting ready for the day. Took it slow, because I knew I needed to come in at one point, but I didn't know what time to come in. So I was just hanging out on my couch. I get a call from my captain saying, hey, uh, we've got the major coming in. What time works for you? I looked at the clock. I figured, all right, I'll give myself 40 minutes. Say 1040. Or if you don't want to cut into lunch, uh, tell him that 13 also works. Basically, whichever one he prefers. And Captain got back to me, said, hey, it's going to be 1040. So I threw on the rest of my uniform. I had most of it on by then. Grabbed my uh, battery for my scooter, which, when I plugged it into my scooter, showed that I had four bars of battery. Now, the downside of my scooter, one of many, is that it doesn't read in battery percentage. It reads in estimated remaining battery life at any given time. So if you turn on the bike, the only electricity being used is the one to turn the light on and put the speedo on, the speedometer. Uh, yeah, so it shows four bars. Then when you start riding the scooter, and you're using the 3,000 watt volt something, 3,000 unit of measurement motor that it has, and you weigh a lot because you're fat, uh, it starts using a lot more battery. So I went from four bars to a blinking warning light on one bar, and then I had to drive that all the way to the office because I would have been late if I didn't. So I got there barely, Left my scooter there, did what I needed to do with the Major, which was super helpful. Uh, he walked through a bunch of stuff of kind of how he wanted things done. Uh, I ended up being in charge of re-narrating it. So I did that today as well, but I did that later. Uh, we talked about what kind of shots we needed to put in. We got together and got more content that we were talking about uh, last week and put that in it. Uh, and after that, I went to lunch. My sergeant, who was also there, he took the TMP into work, which is why I took the scooter. He decided he wanted to go to the Waffle House, and he was like, hey, you want anything? I was like, nah, I got cold ravioli at home, haha. -ha. And uh, he was like, all right, cool, and he handed me the TMP keys, which was super fortunate, because I would not have been able to make it back on my scooter's battery. Took the TMP back, came back home, heated up some of the chili that I made a few days ago, mm, 
the Ilyish. Uh, ate that for lunch. Played a little bit of GTA. I, I literally played like three minutes just to get on, do this thing in the... They, they have a casino where you can spin a wheel, maybe win a prize. And I went in, I spent maybe three minutes, drove to the casino, spun the wheel, didn't win anything of any particular importance, left, and then went back to work, recorded those lines I was talking about, which actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, and I brought my charger back to the office when I came back after lunch. So I was able to plug in my battery and let it charge. So after I recorded, I kind of hung out for a little bit, printed out my W-2 to do my taxes, tax return time. Hope it's a lot. Probably won't be. Fingers crossed. Uh, printed that out, laid it for my battery to charge, left the office about 3.15, drove on back home, took a long shower, because that's my favorite thing to do, is to stand in the shower and realize I've been there for 16 minutes before I actually start doing anything. <laughs> I'll just be sitting there like, oh shoot, I'm like five songs into my playlist. I should probably grab some soap. <laughs> I'm so bad at that, but... I'm so glad that I have a particular career that provides me enough resources and time to do that. Because it's nothing better than another shower after work. Um, came back, took a long shower, uh, grabbed the editing laptop back from my coworker, brought that into here, took all of my narration, put it on the timeline, cut out a couple of things that I knew needed to be cut out, handed it back to him, and here we are. So that's pretty much the full piece of my day. You may notice that my wonderful dinosaur is lit up back here. So it's feeling nice and festive, I guess, because I'm bad at words. But, you know, I think for this episode I'll recommend a song because I haven't done that in a few days. Uh, let me do this one. Yeah. Now you may be thinking... Uh, that's, that's Macklemore, and you would be thinking correct, because if you were thinking that's the Black Eyed Peas, you would be incorrect, because it's Macklemore. Uh, that is the video, uh, well, that, that is the song that me and a friend, Apollo, same Apollo I was talking about earlier, uh, were told to learn in the course of about two hours so that we could put two really small vests on and sing it into a camera as we walked through the chemistry classroom. I don't know if I can find that video. Actually, I won't for copyright purposes. I'd... It's from my school, but still, I'm not going to do it because YouTube's scary. Um, but they were doing, their, they, for a few years, a yearly video for the school where everyone would kind of fill the halls the camera would go down the halls on a dolly and like people would just do stuff as they went by they would hold signs for the clubs they were in one year i took an inflatable orca no one told me to do that no one told me i was allowed to do that but for some reason i was like this will be funny and that orca was carried through like three minutes of the five minute video <laughs> it's just crowd surfing inflatable orca and I was never prouder of anything I'd done before that. But that Macklemore song was the year after the Orca. And it was very, very cringe. But I still enjoy it. And it kind of, I don't know, taught me to enjoy the song. Because it brings back some positive memories. And it is an alright song after all. At least in my opinion. Which is probably trash. So, yeah. That is my song recommendation for the day. I really don't have too much to talk about so 10 minutes yeah that's longer than it has been recently i got a bit of a motor mouth going today probably because of that narration that i did so i'm a little bit warmed up and talking a little bit faster talking a little bit more because i got a little bit more and a little bit faster at talking that didn't make sense at all but that's okay because i'm recording this at 7 20 instead of 10 p.m and i'll actually be able to get some sleep so that my brain can work tomorrow so wherever you live in this opportunity-packed and misfortune-riddled world of ours. Whether you may be experiencing a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, or a good night, 
whatever you are currently going through right now, I do sincerely hope it's good. I really, really do. Uh, if you aren't going through a good time right now, you got people who care. You may not know it, but trust me, they're out there. They're out there. You are appreciated. Keep doing you. Follow your dreams. Don't sell out for a paycheck. I can tell you that right now from experience. Don't sell out for a paycheck. Uh, you are worth something. So go prove it to the world. And in the meantime, as you prove things, continue to come back for more daily uploads of this garbage. Thank you so much for sitting through the whole way. This has been Overlord Pop-Tart. I really do appreciate you coming on by and watching. You're probably just one of my family members, but I still appreciate you anyways. Even though you're all annoying. Stay frosty, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.